will start with GBC.
So the next composer I'm going to play is John Cage. He was very interested in uh, Asian culture and uh, he learned about a Japanese uh, short poetic form called haiku. And he composed two pieces out of uh, this element. The first one I'm going to play is called haiku. So you have five haiku. And you are probably familiar with uh, his uh, chance operations. The first one, he didn't use any chance operations. And the second one, seven haiku, he used chance operations. So he pre-composed some materials, the sound, uh, uh, the silence. And then he uh, did some oracle with I Ching. And then the continuity is based on the oracle of the I Ching. So he didn't compose those continuity. So he called no, no continuity. So the reason he wanted to do that was uh, he wanted to make a continuity not based on his uh, personal memory or taste. And this negates the musical syntax. And I'm going to use an iPhone. It's not because I need to check my text messages or emails. But the second haiku, he asked the performer to use stopwatch. So I will use my iPhone.
So the next composer is uh, George Grum. He's also an American living composer. Uh, the piece I'm playing from is uh, Macrocosmos. The work I'm going to perform is uh, Macrocosmos. And um, you might be very familiar with the notation of Grum's music, but the first one, the magic circle of infinity, is also notated in the form of circle. And uh, the second piece is notated in usual manner. And then the last one, Spiral Galaxy, is also notated in the form of spiral. In these um, pieces, he explores the idea of timelessness of time. So what he wanted to do is uh, how the music suspend time. So it's an experimentation of music and how music doesn't move the time, but it, how it suspends.
last composer is a Japanese composer, Toru Takemitsu. Um, he incorporated some Japanese notions of time. The first one is cyclic time. And uh, this piece was a metaphor of circulating cosmos in the water. And he had a one uh, novel he was inspired by. So I, I'm going to read one passage. It has been named the rain tree for its abundant foliage continues to let four, four raindrops collected from last night's shower until well after the falling, following midday. It's hundreds of thousands of tiny leaves, finger-like, store up moisture while other trees dry up at once. What an ingenious tree, isn't it? And another concept is the uh, concept of ma. So in Japanese culture, uh, time and space is kind of used interchangeably. So ma doesn't mean, it's often translated as empty uh, time or empty space. However, during ma, the performer has to maintain the intensity and the duration is not something you can measure, you cannot plan. So that's something Takemitsu incorporated in his music.
much for the wonderful performance and interesting aspects of time. Um, now we have possibility for some questions and comments. Thank you. First, uh, it was wonderful performance, and um, um, I'm interested in um, the research part of your uh, studies at the moment. Um, you have described that this is uh, practice-based uh, studies, and uh, you do text analysis, and um, <coughs> you you write maybe something about your own experiences uh, as a performer about the pieces. Could you de uh, describe it more? detailed um, what kind of methods you use and uh, for instance if you <coughs> describe your own experiences as an interpreter how uh, how is these uh, written parts done I think the best example I can give is uh, not unfortunately not uh, this these pieces I of course talk about this but uh, uh, I worked with a cello player and uh, I worked on the Takemitsu's uh, the Orion. And um, I had to explain the concept of Ma to my cello player. And she is a Brazilian, so she was brought up the culture of just counting. And then she wasn't really following the, um, what do you call it? the dynamic markings, are, uh, um, the accents. So if you follow just counting, then it was, the timing was very odd because I'm trying to listen to the sound decaying, but she was more forced on the rhythm. So that kind of uh, interaction between someone who doesn't understand the cultural background where Ma is coming from and the, how I needed to um, explain the concept and then try to breathe together more. And the more we had rehearsals, the better she understood. And she also felt more comfortable. She also had to do some weird thing, like I had to do with the strings. Um, in Orion, uh, in Takemiza, I didn't do any plucking the strings and stuff, but in Orion, the piano part also, I need to pluck the string. And she had to do portamento and also the harmonics and many, many different kind of things. So, Timing was also based on those movements, the technical movement, and also the sound, um, those technical, um, I don't know how to say, it, uh, the experimental technique can um, produce. So that was probably the best example. And are these other pieces, if I stick to Takemitsu, then I compare recordings of other pianists and who uh, plays maybe better. I shouldn't say better. That's all personal interpretation. So, but who captured the sense of my better? So, someone doesn't really follow the notation, or someone plays exactly more like this, and which sounds more like what Takemitsu wanted, and he also shared his idea of uh, rhythm. He said, I don't want my pieces to be performed with Western sense of rhythm. And he said, many people say I have tempo deafness or rhythm deafness, so he had, doesn't have any sense of rhythm. So how he notated and how he expected was very different. So I had to go <coughs> from interviews and more written stuff and also comparing the recording and then what he wanted and uh, what who, the performer who trusted, uh, who Takemitsu trusted did. So that was part of the um, process of maybe understanding the performance practice. And of course I integrated that findings into my own playing. I thought about how can I convey the me because I'm playing all those non-linear uh, music, but still I needed to make some kind of difference between the composers. And um, John Cage was very hard because if you are looking at a stopwatch, you can't play at the same time because uh, 
eyes going that way, the stopwatch, and also to the string. Sometimes you are um, plucking the string. So I also researched what other people did. Like David Tudor is the well-known pianist for Kenji's work. So he, I also went through those materials, listened to different recordings. How did they cope with those uh, um, controversial idea? Kate wanted everything to be abs in absolute time. However, as a musician, you need to move your um, body around and we can't be always in uh, absolute time. So how do we make a um, compromise between his notation and his idea and um, your own uh, ability to move body? So I think that's probably I did to understand something happened, what I can do now. Thank you. And the next, next question, there was one. So I, I want to thank you. It was an elegant performance. Uh, I was just in, interested in uh, this concept of ma. And I, I want to ask you that, uh, do you think that, that you are using this ma concept when you are playing uh, the Debussy works too, because we know that that, for example, in in Pagod, uh, there there are these like really strict tem tempi markings like sede and and stuff like that. Uh, so do you think that that you are like kind of approaching these Debussy pieces also from your like cultural background? So I think. Um the Debussy maybe wanted to capture those non-linear sense of time. However, his music is very structured, like you said, and you have that downbeat upbeat. He's playing with that more. Takemitsu doesn't have that sense of downbeat upbeat. So I think his piece was more, in a way, even if you don't count, it doesn't appear, you're not counting, but when you look at score, maybe the person can't say, or maybe she didn't count at all. But, she, but still, it sounds more not counting. But Jubisi, I think uh, you still have to have the sense of pulse. So what I'm doing, when I'm listen, thinking about Takemitsu, I'm listening to the decaying of sound. So let the sound, the timbre, decide the length but I really can't do that with Dubisi. I can't lose that much sense of uh, meter, a rhythmic impulse. But uh, sometimes I feel when I perform these pieces together, even Dubisi sounds like a Japanese. So that's sometimes the comment I get. Maybe because I'm working with these ideas, so maybe my posture of my uh, timing could be kind of related to Ma. But I'm more aware that uh, I need to count and make sure that rhythmic structure is there. Okay, um, unfortunately we have to finish now. Um, you can continue the discussion in the, in the lobby if you like. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. The auditorium in quarter.